Hey everybody, my name is Vivian. I am a business software coach. In this video, I will share with you some way on how to choose a supplier, what you need to consider when deciding for your supplier. Let's get started. Let's say you work for one of the finest restaurants in the city. Customer love your restaurant because of the fresh, locally sourced organic ingredients. They come to you not because of the prices are low, but because they want something that tastes great and fit their value. As a procurement executive for the restaurants, your job is to find suppliers. What are you looking for in your suppliers? The typical knee-jerk reaction is to say low cost. But if you just went with the lower cost, would you be working to make the customer happy? Probably not. When you go out and find supplier, you need to remember those ingredients aren't being bought for the owner or even the chef. They are being purchased to make the customer happy. When they come to your restaurants, the customer wants consistent tasting meal made with high quality ingredients. They want meals that are available whenever they come to your restaurants. Customers don't want to hear that certain menu items are not available today. In war, we may advertise fresh local organic ingredients as a way to entice high-end customer. Perhaps local supplier with excellent ingredients not only make customer happy, perhaps they make our company happy too. If they are really that good, they may actually make our supply chain better and more predictable. Besides food, how about electronics? Suppose it is your job to find a battery supplier for your company's next generation smartphones, cost, supplier locations, and the business practice may or may not be on your radar for these batteries. But you are definitely interested in issues like battery technologies, longevity, and reliability. High quality phones need high quality batteries. You are also interested in the shape and design of the battery. Can battery be made that will fit our phone design? Another thing to consider is the production's capabilities. If we plan on selling 1 million of these phones, can they produce 1 million of the batteries? All on time? Or at the highest quality? Can we trust them not to share information about our new secret phones? Are they committed to improving that battery so that 2 years from now, we can make even and better phone? What would happen if your company decided to just go with the lowest cost supplier? Would you feel confidence putting the fate of your innovative phones in the hand of a cheap, low quality suppliers that deliver late and give away your intellectual properties? Choosing a supplier is a huge responsibility. Is their link in your supply chain a strong one? Or weak one. That brings us to one more issue. Just like we count on our suppliers to give us reliable, our suppliers are counting on their suppliers. So, more and more we are finding that supply chain managers who are responsible for partnering with great suppliers are asking prospective suppliers about the reliability of their suppliers. Think about a big brand's name of the company that sold you something rotten or cheap, something that didn't work, something you either return or just throw out. The material in the items that caused the item to fail. If so, think about how that company put their brand names in the hands of a poor supplier. They lost as a customer, probably a lot of other customers too. Why? Because they choose a poor supplier. Next time you choose a supplier, ask yourself, will this supplier 
help us be a better company? Will this supplier help you make your customers happy? If not, maybe it is a time to look for another supplier. That's all for my sharing in today's video. Once again, my name is Vivian. I am a business software coach. And I see you in my next video.